Joining me is regular Thursday guest, Barnaby Joyce, the Nationals front bencher and former Deputy Prime Minister. Barnaby Joyce, it's great to see you. Look, it does seem crazy. You know, we've got record deposits of uranium, but we ban ourselves from using for energy. We have huge deposits of coal, but we're gradually banning that for our energy as well. We have huge deposits of gas, but we're restricting development of that again for our energy. I mean, what has happened to this country? Oh, and why didn't the coalition do something about it when you were in power? No, oh, well, um, it's a cult. We have a climate cult. That means there's no logic to it. It's just an unquestioning belief system. And this belief system um, comes at the expense. I mean, obviously, we're going to have swindle factories, wind farms, swindle factories, and solar factories and transmission lines. Uh, and that's something I've never supported. I've always said uh, that you just don't shut down energy supplies unless you've got another energy supply that's better and cheaper than the one you're shutting down. And we don't. We don't have one. Um, and, of course, uranium, we're, this perverse position we're in uranium, where in some states, you've got to know in other states they actually ban you mining it as well, even though even Greta Thunberg wants to use it. That's Greta Thunberg's a, a mad righty as far as Chris Bowen is concerned, a mad, you know, a crazy right-wing bigot as Greta Thunberg compared to Mr Bowen. But... You can't... In other states, you can dig it up. That's moral. You can semi-process it. That's A-OK. -okay. You can take it through the middle of town. No problems there. Put it on a boat. Fine. But you can't use it yourself because that's immoral. But it's all right because it gains morality as it goes across salt water on its way to Japan or to South Korea or to India. And now we're even talking about taking the rubbish and burying it back in Australia, but we can't use it here. Now, if you can show me how the logic behind that works, you're a better person than I am. Uh, and what, what, is, what are we harvesting out of this? What are the ashes in our mouth out of, this ma uh, out of our being tied to this mad cult? Our aluminium industry is shutting down. Our steel industry is basically uh, only a fraction of what it used to be. We don't have a manufacturing industry of any sort, no car industry. Our, um, we, our plastics industry is about to go. Our cement industry is going. Um, and we've got China industry. breathing down our neck. Yeah, and I've got China breathing down our neck. And we say, oh, we'll, but, you know, we'll be strong then. It'll, it'll happen. It'll be a miracle. It'll fall out of the sky. Uh, no, you, it is almost treacherous what is happening to Australia because the only way yeah, we can defend is, ourselves Barnaby, is to be as strong as possible, as quickly as I, possible. I'm listening to you and you're talking about the... You're right about the cult. Absolutely right. But while the coalition goes along with saying, yep, 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 global warming really is a problem, yeah, 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 and... You can't say, oh, look, it's, there's an existential crisis, terrible, 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 but we're not going to do much about it. You have to go to the heart of it, as a, a film that I'm about to discuss later in the show will show. You've got to go to the heart of it and say, no, this is not a climate crisis. We are not facing great danger. The planet's warming slightly, but for all we know, that's, that may actually be good. Until you do that, I don't know that you can kill the cult. Well, uh, we're all playing our part politically, Andrew, and we all have the certain rules and regulations and processes that we have to play within. Uh, but for my part, I'm clearly stating that if you want... If you are so selfish as to say, I've lived my life with all the freedoms, the rights, the liberties, the democracy, and that's A-OK, -okay, but to my children I'll hand a foot on their throat so they can live in sort of some quasi-vassal state because, um, you know, that they will be too weak to stand on, by themselves, then that, that is an incredibly selfish and, incre and also a treacherous, a treacherous thing to do to our nation. And you have to ask your, what is your priorities? What is the greatest fear? What is the greatest threat? And for my part, it ain't climate change. Well, I uh, got the hint about uh, the restrictions you're under, having to toe the party line. But uh, until that happens, I'm, I'm saying, until politicians do call it out, uh, I don't know how the, uh, the coalition can win that argument long term.